guys now let's see this question the amount of money in the account every year when rupees 10,000 is deposited at compound interest 8% per annum now wait 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 it's a class 10 problem but the concept is already introduced in class 8 in simple interest compound interest chapter and generally students find it very difficult oh my god how to formulate it mathematically now such principle and rate of interest is given to us my friends it's very simple here what is asked the amount of money in the account isn't it how much is deposited 10,000 is deposited so 10,000 is the principal amount and the rate of interest given to us is 8% so when we are uh, talking about amount principal and rate of interest which formula comes to our mind a is equal to p into 1 plus r by 100 to the power n already studied in 8th, 8th standard so here for the first year for the first year uh, the thing would be 10,000 into 1 plus 8 by 100 and the, since it is first year so in power we will have 1 so this is my first year case second year case 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 2 because now my year is 2 second year okay now when it comes to third year I have 10,000 the principal amount 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 3 because now my n is 3 the year we are talking about so it goes on like this and when you see uh, equation 2 minus equation 1 or exactly it is not an equation we are only subtracting the second year amount minus first year amount there will not be any common difference there will not be any common difference and similarly when you take third year amount minus second year amount the value will not be the same it is not having any common difference uh, so it does not form an AP you want to get it clear by writing so you can write uh, actually how do we denote the terms a1 a2 a3 isn't it these are the terms of the sequence so when we do a2 minus a1 what do we get 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 2 minus 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 1 so we can take 10,000 in bracket 1 plus this is this common isn't it so 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 can be taken outside so what is left we are left with 1 plus 8 by 100 and that's it and here what is left nothing is left so minus 1 so 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled only 8 by 100 is left so which can further be cancelled or leave it as it is it will be easy to compare for the second situ situation so now when we see a3 minus a2 what do we get we get 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 3 minus 10,000 1 plus 8 by 100 whole square so again here this whole square term can be taken outside so 10,000 is common in both the terms and 1 plus 8 by 100 whole square is common so 1 1 plus 8 by 100 is left here so I am writing it as it is and here nothing is left because everything we have taken outside outside so only 1 is left so 1 and minus 1 gets cancelled only 8 by 100 is left here so when you check this uh, answer and this answer a2 minus a1 is having only 1 plus 8 by 100 but here we have 1 plus 8 by 100 to the power 2 so a2 minus a1 is not equal to a3 minus a2 so it does not have any common difference there is no common difference therefore it is not an AP the sequence form is not an AP it is very simple no need to show these this much of uh, explanation also directly after writing the sequence as per the question this 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 directly you can write since it does not have any common difference so it is not forming an AP because it is clearly visible from the terms itself that they will not have any common difference even after subtracting and it is even uh, clear just by looking at it so this is how it is solved thank you and have a nice day